it's SEC Baseball from Northwest Arkansas. A Monday matinee, breakfast at Bomb, as the James Madison Dukes and Arkansas Razorbacks wrap up a four-game series. Or wrap yeah, around. Fisher's a big left-hander. He's going to sit in that low 90s with that fastball. He kind of mix in his, his breaking ball bread as a slurve. 55-degree Monday afternoon. First pitch to Mancini, flared to left, and Jones will make the catch. Tell you what, you better be ready. The ball will find you. First pitch of the game, and Jones makes a tumbling grab and left. Thing, his first step was in. He had a great read on this baseball. Again, it wasn't the prettiest looking catch, Good. but hey. Cutoffs and whatnot after that effort yesterday. That ball lifted in the air to center. Wilms Meyer just gliding back, calls off Jones, makes the catch. So, Colin Fisher with a perfect first. We're off and rolling. Next pitch. Waits on it, got that change up, and sent it into center for a base hit. So Kendall has six hits and 13 at bats so far in this series. In the first three games, Diggs is going to run. There's a chopper up the middle. Mancini's going to have a play. That's first, but he threw it by Steinberg, and it ends up in the dugout. Diggs will go to third and White to second. And it was an adventure. McLaughlin will swing and stroke went into center for a base hit. Diggs will score, White will score, and Arkansas has played it a pair right out of the gates. A chopper to the left side, and it's going to find its way to left between Pfeiffer and Calabrese. Not a bad pitch from Casey Smith, and Peyton Holt just put the ball in play, and good things happen for him. Two balls and two strikes to Sprague Lott. Next pitch, front door breaking ball again. Dribbler to third. Pfeiffer will go the long way. Retire Sprague lot. Arkansas strands a couple of base runners after they produce three hits. But, uh, four teams are two and one, but Tennessee was the champion. Brendan O'Donnell homered in the ninth inning yesterday. This one's in the air a long time, and somehow that ball was caught by Alloy. He just kept running and running, nearly ran into Jones, and somehow made the catch. My goodness, did he cover a lot of ground. There, I was worried far. like a wide receiver, he didn't take the catch to the ground at the end. I mean. And then he collides with Jones at the very end. Jones trying to get away from him, just kind of a little tap. These teams will hit on the field no matter how cold it is, as long as it's not raining. And there's a liner over the glove of Aloy, a base hit from Schiavone. His first of the year and his team's first today. Sure could, here's another 3-2. That's strike three, inside corner at the knees. Absolutely perfectly placed for the first K for Colin Fisher. And that one got Schmidler. So now what you want to do is no. hit your nine hole hitter. Next one, two man senior, a little chopper. Holt's going to get there, tags the runner, and throws the first for the double play. A nice effort. That's a really good play by Peyton Holt, the runner at first Schmedley just runs right into that tag. You've got a freeze right there. You cannot allow Peyton Holt to have that easy of a double play opportunity. Say the least. White's been fun to watch. That's fun to watch. It's fair down the line and left and into the corner. This is going to be extra bases for Hudson. And he has a double leading off the third inning. You're right. He's not afraid to pitch inside. There it is again. Well. <laughs> <laughs> He came so far in, he hit Holt. Hard hit, base hit, in the center. Home to score is White. It is three to nothing, Arkansas. Jason Jones has had two at-bats today. He's gone 109 and 107 off the bat. Go to schools that have winning athletic programs. Ryan Dooley will line one to the left, and all he has done is hit. That's hit number six so far this weekend. And I O'Donnell. You see the one he hit yesterday? Yes. 442. <laughs> Ivy kind of get their chances to be midweek starters. That's a wave and a miss. So far, so good for Colin Fisher. How about back-to-back K's to win the fourth inning? Waves, and then you can't buy a run the next game. Kendall Diggs hits one to a diving Mancini at second, and he robs Kendall, and that is a perfect and quick fourth inning for Casey Smith and the Dukes. That's over the inside corner, strike three called. Fourth K for Colin Fisher. Off the bat, uh, Pfeiffer. And he'll single into left to continue the fifth inning. You think about it, Troy. Yeah, pretty we quickly. 
3-1 pitch. He's going to get out of this inning. He should. Fly ball to Diggs. Patiently waiting. How about five scoreless? And look at the reaction from Arkansas's dugout. Pumped up for Colin Fisher. Strong performance. Razorbacks maintain their 3-0 lead. And White leads off here in the bottom of the fifth. He might send one of the grill. In the air to left, does he have enough? Dooley's going to come in in front of the track and make the catch. Had a nice article on him. Watching him homer in his first couple of games, you can see the highlights there as Aloy smokes one on one bounce out into left for a single, 109. So six hits for the Razorbacks. Do they have another? Nice play by Pfeiffer, far to his left, and shovels to Mancini at second. Holt doesn't get another base hit. Hey, Cody Frank is making his second appearance of the series. And Cody Frank, you're going to see a lot of strikes with him. Everything, trust everything's come out for the better. Backhand and a pop-up from Holt. Throws out his counterpart Mancini to begin the top of the sixth inning. Injury somewhere in between. Trimble, inside out swing, and he sends one to right to Diggs. And there's two outs. One had a different sound to it. Wave it a miss. Cody Frank retires all three Dukes he faces. Hey, look who's on to pitch. Will McIntyre as we go to the seventh inning. That again. full vertical drop. That one worked. O'Donnell Cage to begin the seventh. There's some similarities. Wave it a miss. Two batters, two Ks. Outside the zone. Will McIntyre just struck out the side in the seventh inning. Well, you wonder if he was healthy. He kind of had a little tweak of the, the leg in, on Friday, but, man, he came out and just spotting dimes on the bump. The cutters. 3-1 to Wilmsmeyer. That's outside. Leadoff base runner. It's always it for Arkansas. And that's ball four. So even despite Diggs trying to bunt, which was an odd little sequence in the Wait. middle of that one. Liner to third, and the throw hit the helmet of Wilmsmeyer, and the ball ricochets into right, what could have been a double play. Instead, sees runners at second and third. Wilmsmeyer just about came down that line with nobody covering home. McLaughlin was put aboard at first. They'll just go ahead and put him on to bring up Aloy. On the way to Aloy. In the air to center, dropping base hit. It'll score a run. Diggs almost ran through that stop sign. Everybody moves up 90 feet. Arkansas has a 4-0 lead on the Alloy run scoring base hit. Bases full of Razorbacks. In the air to right center. Should end the inning and will. So Arkansas, they've left the bases loaded several times in this series. They get a run for a little bit of insurance. Five, six, seven run inning for Arkansas. Ground ball to Alloy. Took that one right off his belt buckle. Retire Shavoni. You got to trademark that one. On the ground at first. McLaughlin with the pick. Shovels to Big Will covering. Two gone. Out. The Razorback bullpen. I may have jinxed that one. Holt from his backside. Still three hop that to first base. The lineup for Mancini. How about the Dukes running down 4 nothing In the air to left field. Jason Jones with a second tumbling grab of the game. Another strong defensive play by a Razorback today. Be, heard to be six foot three. Goes out there and lays out a big play right there for Arkansas. Kind of sneaky fast. And Matt Hobbs calls it a lower slot lefty where your fastball looks like a sinker and it can also look like a slide. And it's coming out in a different angle. Kind of crossfire, isn't he? Play for Vahiva. One goal in ninth inning. Payoff. Well, that's not what Stone wanted to do after he jumped ahead of Dooley. Pitching has been spot on. Ground ball to third. Funny bounce for Sprague Lott. Throw is not going to be a time. McLaughlin went up for it. O'Donnell went under it. Stone Hewlett could use a strikeout. Stone Hewlett gets a strikeout. Two gone. Had some nice depth. This is Steinberg, a little chopper up the first base side. It'll be picked up by Hewlett. It's a fair ball. It's also the final out of the game. And the Razorbacks shut out JMU 4 to nothing to win the series. He had to go a long ways to get that baseball. And what a great outing for Arkansas pitching. Colin Fisher 
Cody Frank, Will McIntyre, and then Stone Hewlett wrapping things up.